came into this one ready to go. I think that was a massive issue for complexity, at least that they feel between the maps. Yeah, and Mouse Sports obviously was outside chatting and, and going over things. Laughing and high-fiving and telling Yeah, they won, but I, it's not like they had anything to... I mean, yes, they won the map. You have something to celebrate, but it wasn't like they had a lot to be proud of on their T side either, so... It's a bit sketchy, indeed. Frozen with the opener, so first kill again to Frozen. Remember, he was part of the full house pistol round in the first half. It's JDC and Exertion, so pistol for T side going much better as we did not see a T side pistol at all on overpass. That could change immediately. Dexter's going to try and sneak up middle and flank the last two remaining players that are back at the lane. A little bit of damage onto Exertion, nothing to clean it up, and Dexter's on this flank, so. Yeah, this is uh, likely going to slip away. At least there's a kit on top of the bomb. So if the deathmatching really paid off in between maps, if they get some insane headshots, it would have to be quick, but they get nothing. Just the one kill on Grim, and it's 1-0 for Maus. Yes, indeed. And uh, a chance to take this series. I mean, it goes for everyone that wins the first map, isn't it? It's one of those uh, those madnisms, but a chance to go 2-0 in this yeah, yeah. series, Jason. But uh, no, significant because tiebreakers have certainly been a thing so far in Pro League. You go to Navi's group, obviously, and I think very much we're, we're looking potentially at a tiebreaker in this group, the way things are going right now. And this this is a big recovery from Mouse Sports as well. They, on day one, just like Heroic, look pretty flat to me. So they've played themselves back into this, whereas yeah, that Black was... City are now on the opposite side of that. Miles lost their first game to Ents, I think, on day one, correct? I think Ents just came in and looked looked phenomenal. Ents looked the best on day one. Well, Actually, that might have been that Heat. Was heat. That was heat. Yeah. Yes, that was Heat they played on day Take one. Take it all no. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, because that was the one that we, we thought some Pius and Valda looked great, but it was also the right team for them to have their first game. Heat has also played themselves into this fairly well. They did lose today, but they still got a map off the men, uh, off of, uh, of uh, who they played? Heroic. Today? Thank you, Heroic, because it was Astralis yesterday that they yeah. beat, and that's where my mind was going. But uh, it, we've seen moments from everyone uh, on both sides of the coin, is the point. We've seen some good and we've seen some bad from every team. No one's been perfect in this group. Pump for complexity is again my my five around complexity coming into this group is like, okay, this is the group where you probably kinda if you're gonna show something, if you're gonna get out of a group, this is the one you'd want in Pro League. And starting out well, but losing your last three matches would be so brutal. Tomorrow's game is gonna be so incredibly important. I think a win here for complexity, if they could come back in the series and have a little reverse sweep, that puts them pretty firmly into a playoff look. Not guaranteed. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, Mao's 2 0 heroic. They're 0 2 against Astralis, 2 0 against Ents. They go 2 0 here, they go 3 1 with 6 2 as a map score. They're in a pretty good spot as well. Sure. So, I mean, it, like we say, this group's wide open. We'll know more at the end of the day, but certainly tomorrow is going to matter for every single team. Dexter is going to get floppy. JDC takes down Paul Zerg Fang. Oh, dear. Oh yeah, Dexter's got the kill onto him. It's just JT and Grim. They're gonna rotate back through the temple, maybe say a prayer on the way as they do so. There's a scout down just in front of them. I'm not sure that's even gonna give them much to work with. I do like that they've uh, kind of closed the wall in the front part of the, the temple and totem because it used to be yeah. a lot more open and way more to cover off when you were going for a bomb plant. Yeah, way more difficult to take it as a T side. So that, that certainly helped out in its own way. Two nothing for Mal's. Khalil is salvaged. Grim has that scout on his back as well in a 5-7, I believe, so he can drop the scout over to Halzerk. But Frozen's going to take some things away at the end, at least the one weapon. And peeking for the last player, sees him, spots him, takes him down. Grim was a little nervous, I think, there, because uh, tagged by the scout, he got away as well when he rebolted that, that bolt rifle. And either way, he gets the shot with 10 HP remaining. Mouse sports that now have a 2 0 lead. They've avoided the eco, so now they should have a chance to get a third as well based on that force. Dexter looking pretty sharp. I still maintain this, Jason. Uh, top three map for me, Ancient. Okay. You really like Ancient? I, 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 yeah. I top do. three. What, what, what flushes out your top three? Inferno. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Yep. Um. Let me let me put some thought into that. Okay. I really have to. Is gonna, what, what are the seven maps again? No, I'm kidding. Um, the, the problem is it's so situational. Like I still like Mirage at times. I okay. know a lot of people think it's so your top three is about to morph into a top five. What are your top seven maps? Ah, uh, well, I would start with uh, Tuscan, <laughs> and then I would probably hit you with uh, Piranesi, Ooh, okay. Chateau. Oh, this is old school. Yeah, Airstrip. Nice. And uh, Fire. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, Fire was a Terrible Fire was, map. yeah, the middle that you had to, like, boost past the... F why? I loved everything. And why was it. there, like, a basketball court that made T's spawn a million miles away from anything that was relevant? 
I'm, I'm it not... was the worst of the CPL maps for just, sure. Just trying to ball out. Yeah, yeah. No, I think so. For me, I think Inferno become is is the best. I don't love it early in series, but it's the best decider map. I would probably say my second. It's, again, so situational. I think Mirage is wicked in decider maps. Okay. But I, maybe I even put Anxious number two right now. Okay. I'll tell you my least favorite. Yeah, I know you which one guess. that is. You want to guess? That's a Vertigo. Yeah, 100%. Still, you haven't gained any love for that map. No, I have not. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Not going to see it here, I don't think. JT, forced back. All quiet for Complexity's defense. Floppy looking in towards Cave. Hulzerk is here at the B-bomb site with his AWP. JT's going to be close up to ramp. It looks like Hulzerk's going to flash for him. Peek down. Nothing's there. JT even gave it the old extra second before taking the peek. And Mouse just now starting to take map control, clearing out Jaguar. Exertion and JDC working in tandem in middle. They have Hulzerk's op to contend with now, who's moved over to the red room. Dexter's gonna try to get through that smoke Mac 10 in hand, Halzerk. Lit too many candles inside of the red room and it's fully ablaze, but he still pops out to find exertion. So he drops, first pick in the rounds, and now things get a little more desperate for Miles over toward the B site as they put more pressure on it. With smokes down as well, Halzerk. He's thinking about the boost. He looked at JT like, hey, bro, you want to get up on my head here? You want to put me up, Tom? Can I try and get a shot? He still is. Oh, he's going to get... I thought it was a second hit as well. I was going to say, how is JDC not down? But he did clip him on the first one, put him to 56. Either way, there's no one on the flank, no one on the backside. They're able to fall off of this. This could be a really tough retake. There's there's not really a whole lot of utility, no flashbangs. So this Mac 10 up close, if Dexter can do any damage, he's going to turn the corner. Oh, good dink. He spotted three. Now he knows. Frozen chucks into a corner. Good crossfire with JDC is available as well. One crosses into the site. Big kill. It's up to his teammates now as Torji pounces in. And JDC still has not yet been activated through the smoke. Grabs two. And it's all over all three for JDC. Dude, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of JDC. I like his style. He has so much awareness in these situations. I've I've yet to see him really overstep when he's playing a pivotal position like that, where he's anchoring around. Even when he opens up, he's go back to the round uh, uh, overpass. Yeah, okay, T-sides weren't great. The Tech 9 round where he walks out and gets two. Yeah. He is on it, man. He is sharp. I'm, I'm a fan of this guy. Yeah, him and him and Torshi, like, uh, it's easy to forget these guys are stone-cold killers inside the server because they're so jovial outside. They have, like, that yeah. side quality where it's like, you can't possibly be good. JDC was You're walking too, down too the wall. smiles. Yeah, he was walking down happy. the wall earlier this morning. I was going down early just getting out, you know, our, our, we essentially have a gaming room in the practice room area. He's walking by, he's all saying, hey man, how's it going? Hope you're having a good morning. I was like, yo, okay, yeah. I'm just waking up, dude. Maybe less energy. Yeah, like, not enough emotional distress to really come off as a star player, but he's really making a name for himself. Five and two so far here on Ancient. I'm gonna start backing off. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I love, I love seeing more and more talent come through this game. You know, we're 10 year history on CSGO alone, 20 plus years in Counter-Strike and we still have new people making names for themselves all the time. It's awesome. 23 years for the counter You didn't have franchise. to date it, Jason. God, I was trying to just say 20 plus for a reason. You've probably been there for all of them. All 23, man, over half my life. Been a wild ride. Grim, good headshots, doubles up, couldn't quite get through the archway to avoid JDC who flanked in behind him and wrapped around. So he gets the kill with the AK to bring it back to a three on three. He's left on 16 as a result of that exchange though. And Floppy and Fang, Okay, they were getting. A, they weren't sure where to go. I think was the problem on that. They wanted to wrap it around all the way, but they're now thinking better off of it and going back to middle. The problem is that's going to give time for a reverse play to no also miss. come back in from Frozen. No miss, JDC. You got no HP for a miss. Frozen hears that footstep, swings out, and okay, JDC stepped up to the plate. Fang at least takes him down. They can salvage that off, but okay, Halzer can salvage the off. Yeah. Rosen and Dexter focus on getting the bomb planted and winning the round. That's, that's what I was going to say. For good reason. There's not enough time. Yeah. Just get out of it. Forget the op. You just got to get that bomb down on B. Is Halzer going to go for that. it? No, you don't go for this. Uh, Surely not. 50, th yeah, 35, 50. Surely not. He, he absolutely could justify this. If nothing else, keep their economy honest. Oh, get out. Okay, now. yeah, okay. I, look, no I would have I accepted no kit. I would have accepted one kill and get out. I would have no accepted one down or at least keep them near the bomb. A free op. He's got too much good stuff going for him. But I'm greedy. Yes, true. 
Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, 5 nothing for Maus. Uh, looking eerily similar to, to Overpass with a, with a nice hot start. Although at least this time it's on the T side where they struggled on the previous map. Looking good so far. Wonder if we'll get a timeout from Complexity to talk things over into this next gun round. Nice thing about saving this op. I don't know if I ever saw. I can't recall watching Grim op. I, we saw him pick up the op twice in Overpass after his teammate had gone down. Both times near bathrooms, trying to salvage a round that was pretty ropey on the buy in general. But yeah, you're right. I've never seen him go for it early on. It's also interesting. I never, that you I never even saw it when I was in Liquid with him. Here's a question for you, out. Mr. 23-year veteran. Okay. Um, we don't get set spawns anymore in Counter-Strike. And we used to, sometimes, you know, you get an overpass spawn. Okay, you have the front one. I'm going to throw you the op. You go, whatever. Do you remember there was a time, like, every, what was it, five rounds? Or was it three rounds? It was the cycle of spawns. We'll hold the thought, because Grim's got his first one. Grim with the op. I want to see a decent flick, uh, decent miss. Smoke's going to go down. He's going to move into a doom position. He knows there's going to be a jump up from JDC. And, ah, that's too much craziness for him to handle. Allsark's going to go down next. Here's your boy JDC again. Automatically with three kills. He's just on it. Yeah. Not missing at all. Ten kills in the server, but six over two rounds that have been absolutely massive for Miles. And Dex is going to come around and find JT inside of the donut. Homeboy came to play today. Absolutely. Fang's going to get Torzy back, but I think he's bailing out 20 HP. At the point, I, 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 and you're right, I kind of, we needed to get into the round there. But do you miss that set spawn? Because there was almost a meta to that as well. If you figured out who had what spawn, you could almost counter the timing of the other player, yeah. or you yourself were like, great, I've got a good spawn every five rounds. Hey, maybe this round we save because next round I'm going to have the op spawn. Or, uh, I was don't, it a good thing or a bad thing? I don't miss it at all. But I think okay. enough time has been passed to get used to it not being there. It was probably something early on where it was like, oh, this is kind of, I wish we had that feature, but now I just, I just can't possibly the, care. The closest equivalent that I can give you, because that was gone by the time I played a little bit of Counter-Strike, um, and the closest equivalent I can give you is like when it was CTF and COD, you would attack one side of the map only because I know I'm sorry. Look, PC COD was actually all right before it got totally ruined by everything else. Yeah, <laughs> it was about as vague as it gets, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> JT pushing down the ramp. Ooh, is he gonna clear the far corner? The little cubby, here's Dexter. First kill for him. Oh, a second kill, great spin, and he's gotta know there's at least one more. Head on a swivel. Frozen's gonna take that one, and oh, this aggression was absolutely backfired, and Hulzerk's like, man, I just bought this nice, expensive, shiny new weapon, and I can't use it. Yeah, yep, nope, sorry, man. Shiny new toy, take it home. Bring it back for the next show and tell. Don't get it dirty. Oh, that's gotta be the worst feeling in the world. You just do a four-man crunch, and you lose them all to, to two players. I mean, this is the complete reverse of what we saw in the first man. What is Dexter, like, spider senses tingling? Okay, all right, he's actually just pre-firing it. We jumped over in a way that made me think he was panicking, but... Paul Zerk fires a shot. That's gonna give away his position. They are pinching. He has spotted JDC, who smartly doesn't go back for more on the repeat, because he knows that's just gonna give himself up to an AWP, which is now dropped. And they will not pick it up. They don't want to double off T side. I don't know that this is the map for it. Seven nothing. Yeah, complexity getting spanked. Spanked. What a round from Dexter. This is great. Spin to find floppy. Immediate headshot. Frozen gets into the action. Look at these Jason Bourne style camera shots. Halzer goes down last. Eagles. P250 on Halzer, a couple five sevens as well. Just the fragging is is really rough on the complexity side. If you look at it down the list, as you guys can see, one, two, three, three, four. 13 combined kills. That's tough. Seven rounds in, you're averaging. Rosen is tying the entire complexity team. You're averaging less than two kills around right now. It's a good old fashioned Shiza. Shiza. I hear the Germans out in the production room laughing at my German. Butchering the swear words. Yeah. Sorry. Orgy. Orgy now. Nice and calm. Torji's one and three. I, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 this isn't a criticism because he's not had to do anything, no, although he's, he's looking for more this time. He's just chilling. He did a lot of work on overpass, to be fair, so uh, we'll, we'll let him relax a little bit longer. Uh, his efficiency, one. but they were all easy shots, Jason, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go straight up middle, no contest. JT's going to spot that now, though, and how's the reaction going to be from the CTs? Because they are a donut. Do they reverse flank this? I, I would consider it. The problem is if they do, they are wrapping back through the temple. I don't think Fang and Grim realize quite yet that the A bomb site is, uh, is pretty much lost. Frozen with a nice double spray down. Now Grim and Fang will have the idea. Dexter uh, looks like he wants to go hunting. Why not? He's been playing good. You might as well go for this if you're complex. You're buying next round no matter what. The flash timings. Oh man, JDC. The one thing I'll give him is he's being smart and efficient about his timing and getting away. It's all on to Torzi. He's a little more than one and three now. He's going to have to be three and three at the end of this round if they want to win it. He smartly backs away from Bomb. Trying to look down that very, very tight corridor using the gaps and the slivers. And he's tapped it with a smoke out. That's going to force Torzi forward. Molotov does mean he has more confidence to fall off of it. And now he has control of the situation. He can hear him chasing. He can hear him running around. And he's just going to bait out the time. And with no kid on JT, this one's done as well. Yeah, what a, what a smart play from Torji as well. That's a tough situation as JT drops that smoke. I think he would have had to stick the bomb in that position if he actually wanted to win it in any in any way, but Torji pulls him off of it. Enough pressure to make sure JT doesn't feel comfortable just sticking the defuse and it's eight to nothing. And yeah, that's the uh that's a look of a coach who hasn't had to do a whole lot. I uh, I also said he would have to be three and three at the end of the round, Jason. Apparently not. He just had to survive. I, I thought about that. I was gonna bring yeah. it up and I, I went against it. <laughs> I figured I figured you thought about how wrong I can be. But the brains over the bronze rather than the final kill, he just stays alive and uses the time. Now, Cyclone earlier today before this match, just a few hours ago, did tweet out, Complexity uh, is the surprise of the group so far. He was impressed with what they've shown. He did also say it won't be enough today. And he's proving that to be true because Complexity... Yeah, this is not... Getting smashed. It, it's, I feel for them because this is going to be... You're not going to think about one loss. You're going to think about how you lost the whole group, the way that it started. You go 2-0 up, and now you're going to go down uh, to a 2-2, a, a two and two, or excuse me, 2-3 and three score line, if I'm not mistaken. 2-2, two two, right, sorry. We're only four Mac days in. But point is, yeah, you're letting us slip away. And, and when you look at the fact that you beat Astralis, Mao's beat, you know, it, it, the, I, the opportunity was there. I think complexity is starting to feel like real ragged on this map. Like, they, they know they're just getting beaten up and brutalized everywhere they go. They're, they're starting to get real peaky and aggressive and over peaking and trying to make plays i mean the last They're round feeling was the, the pressure well the last round was the closest they had so that that can net you a round or two just by being unorthodox it's not going to be a long-term strategy by this, any is, means. this is interesting for mouse i mean dexter has the ability to to rotate all the way back around to the eight bomb site but they've chosen to kind of play a little bit more lurky and dexter's going to go down with a bomb grims found that with a usp so that's an issue exertion on his horse hustling over Will he expect this position from Grimm? I don't think I don't think he clears this. No, I doubt it. I, I maybe because he's going Lots. okay. He, yeah, he might because he's going slow enough. He actually did. He thought about it, but yeah, down he goes. And finally, a round for complexity in the one-on-one. -on -one. Grimm off angle manages to make it work. That's weird. I wonder what the call was for Dexter to just kind of stay parked outside of those B double doors for the entire round because his teammates had walked through A. One, they both walked through A. One went to CT spawn. The other one went from donut to middle. So they knew it was clear the whole way to A. I guess maybe he could have been worried for a push through middle. Either way, falls apart, but Mal's still with an obviously commanding lead. Money is fine for Mao's. It's going to be tight again for complexity, so need to string two rounds together here if they want any chance of salvaging a half or giving them a chance in the second one. Grim's going to back off play triple box A with Fang forward and Donut as JDC sets a smoke at the ready for the take. Bounce smoke, lands just past the boost and can get you to big box. So let's you swing the site a little bit further. That would potentially expose the position of Grim. So here we go, all the way wide. Not quite to big box, now he will. He's gonna look toward Totem. That's the obvious next angle he has to cover off. Flashed up, he can push through this potentially. Try and cut off rotation, so he's in, he's gone. And Exertion's standing to watch above the site. Now JDC doesn't want to overextend because they've lost Torzi, that's the first pick. And Grim is in a very vulnerable position. 
If that smoke expires, JDC is only good for one. He did not want to extend too far. They still have exertion on the boost, and he does not want to give up position even though the bomb is down in front of him. So Dexter's going to have to backtrack, and when he does, he'll be spotted from CT lane because the smoke was not in position fast enough, and it's floppy to come out and collect the final two kills. Back-to-back -back complexity, three survive, and now money's starting to build. Yeah, they needed that. They really did. They've got one more buy to burn through for Mouse Sports, though. Excuse me for Mouse. Six rounds back. Complexity. That's a decent hold there. Now, Mal's in the, in, in the overpass in the first half, avoided all these situations. Their economy was kind of on a tightrope for a number of times, but they always managed to kind of win the round right before they got reset. We'll see if they can do it again here. From the T side, off in the hands of Torji still. Exertion down to the Galil. Torji looking desperately through the remainder of a nade. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Holzer. That'll wake you up. Yep. As soon as the smoke fades, he's able to hit that shot in his fang. It's Grim that actually hit that kill. I thought Fang got that through the smoke, but Grim found it instead. Nice job from Exertion, and Grim's got to back away, but Halzark's here with the... Oh, a missed shot, and then he swings into the open. Halzark's lucky to be alive, and JDC, he's hungry for blood. Frozen's going to go down on the other side of the map. There's one, there's two. Once again, when they need something, when someone's got to step up, it's been JDC time and time again. He's gone now, though, and it's all down to Exertion. Bomb still waits for Donut, and Floppy's wider than Exertion expected, so it's three in a round now for Complexity. JDC has a set route on that site. He gets to the big box. He has his aim perfectly set for that hallway. Yeah, he feels I, I'm pretty sure he's fight. one of those players that probably has it lined up with the box, so when he strafes out, his crosshair placement's already there. He's a fun guy to talk to about Counter-Strike as well, if you ever get a chance. He's uh, someone in Cologne that we got to talk to behind the scenes. Some really cool ideas and cool approach to the game, and obviously working well for him. Good double kill. But complexity have finally done it. They've they've rode out the worst of the wave. It's uh, it's uh, down to the doldrums in terms of money and weaponry for Mouse. JT is going to get a swift headshot onto Dexter. Just Deagles and some armor. Frozen sneaking his way forward with that Deagle, so they have a very sudden opportunity complexity to make this a half. Ooh, ooh, did... Okay, he's not... Oh, okay. Oh, I did not bring enough underwear for this trip if that's the shots he's going to hit. Should have worn my brown pants. Exertion going to fall back. Torzi's going to start moving up. And as the defense adjusts to cover towards the A-bomb site, you can see the entire shift on the mini-map. The orange dots are moving towards the B-bomb site. That's not ideal if you're complex. The schnoz barriers, JT. Inside cave, lines up, gets two. Can't quite find the third. Exertion's going to get that as well. So following up on the Deagle shot to get a double in the rounds. And he'll work his way. Oh, I thought he was going to work his way to the side. The problem is they put an incendiary behind that smoke, so he can't run through immediately. Towards he's trying to just do anything he can to hold them back. Just the speculative shots from the Deagle. That allows the bomb plant, so that's all he had to do. Exertion now can fall away, and he's got a great position inside of the cave. He's got three already. Could be on for an ace. Grim's going to sneak by. Tap it. They're going to peek. Torzi's going to go second. Oh, it should have been the other way around, potentially, because then the rifle could have done wonders. It's Grim's going to find a fourth for complexity. Nice. Needed. Very much needed. Complexity now getting into it. Now starting to get a little bit of momentum, a little bit of confidence beneath them. Halzerk's going to be back on the AWP. Scary round, but as you said, complexity just barely able to hold on. This is a beautiful shot from Exertion. Fang didn't even see it coming, right around the palm trees. Yeah, that's not ideal. Yeah, it was a sick shot. I, I thought he was preset on that. He was actually back further inside of the red room. Red room. Murder. And uh, had to walk out and get his head taken off. Fang, forwards. Oh, no. Hey, guys, why is the box on fire? That's a team Molotov, I believe, to prevent anyone from jumping up. Thing is going to come up late. No one from Mal's took advantage of that timing to move on through. Deep smoke in the double doors. Dexter is going to readjust his position back to get the bomb. 
Complexity dumped a lot of utility early on in this round, so all that aggression is going to abate. It's going to—they're going to back off. Fang is playing back in the red room. Grim has backed off all the way towards the eight bombs as well. Not even presence in Donut quite yet. And Mouse have the advantage in terms of nades for the moment as they get a. Reaggress and retake map control in middle. Towards he's staring down the lane. JT might walk out into this. He'd be a little bit lower though. And the flash is gonna ooh, put him in position. I think he heard the steps. Yeah, he did. He said, forget it. There's too many there. Not worth it. Too linear. Get back to coverage while you can for Ozin. Trying to get the tap shots toward Fang and JT. He's gonna pull out. They line up for him. The loud and proud M4 comes out and shows off its proficiency as Torzi's blinded up. It should be a third for it. JT makes no mistake on that. Exertion with the late lurk in middle. Couldn't wrap to the site fast enough. We'll get a kill, but I don't know he's going to get much more than that. No. Nope. We suddenly had the winds change, Jason. Yeah. I mean, the question is, is it is it too little too late? Uh, you know, for a map like Ancient, which has been pretty CT-sided historically, can if complexity even gets up to seven, is that going to be enough? Their T-side as well was very lackluster on overpass, and Mouths have at least re reversed their fortunes on the offensive side. Complexity still got to prove they can do it into the second half, but yeah, this, this is great. Uh, Complexity coming alive and making a contest out of this one at the very least is something you like to see, because remember, overpass... Fitty. Galil and then the starring AK of Exertion that they're going to need to hit some shots. Frozen is not going to go all the way through that smoke, but he's in between smoke and flame as he sits outside in the B lane. Okay, we'll give it to him. Yeah, why not, JT? Uh-oh. Exertion dead. Couldn't find it. They get back behind the stairs. That lets Floppy come out, and JT's going to strike on that. He and Floppy each with two. Floppy will go one better to close the rounds, and it's now just two rounds between them. What a what a change we've had. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite the swing. Quite the reversal of fortunes. Six straight. Complexity looking to close this on a 7 nothing run. And Mouse, you're going to be happy, obviously, with eight on your T side. But I mean, it's it's gonna feel very different than if like you kind of actually were contesting all the way through. It's still gonna feel even with eight, like you're like, oh man, we just we haven't won a round in so long. You know, it's been if the complexity closes this half seven to nothing, Mouse would love to just get one round right at the end just to break up this run. Dexter running a fast route, fast route towards middle, clears it out for his teammates, can call them to come through the smoke and. Throwing caution to the wind. He's even going to clear all the way towards the donut angles. Nice flash, Dexter. Yeah, blinded exertion as well, so he couldn't take control. Needed to be a little bit lower. Banging JT in middle. JT going to try and show some presence, perhaps, in bait, and maybe allow Fang's position to be way more impactful. I don't think they'd expect a second player here if JT's able to show presence. JT together, as you say, so Grim's going to be tasked with holding out the A long position. Floppy alone at B. Halzerk and JT. Now, JT's going to slide. He's going alone. The problem is they have no information that there's going to be two players directly beside him. He's going to get caught out by the Galil. They're still not going to have information that there's two there because they didn't see the second one. A lot of rotation. Ooh, Grim. Grim getting caught, but he's actually pinned down Torji on another part of the map. It's the bomb that's yeah. isolated. There goes Grim. Okay, huge kill for Torji. Floppy finds one, but the A bomb site is wide open. Yeah, and if you're Mouse, you have to know it. No, they pivoted 100%. As soon as they get that kill from a player pushing out that far, go back over. Now, that is the timing still working out that Holzerk is close enough. That's your teammate. <laughs> I thought, I, was open. I thought he was scared. I thought he was like literally just panicking at that point, was about to, but he gets damage done. He's down to 17. Remember, not an opening in Temple anymore. You've got to swing all the way around. It favors the hold as well as the take, so retakes become a lot more difficult. Holzerk does manage one more, but Exertion in a wide angle is going to catch off both he and Floppy. A couple of times, t on overpass was horrible. This needs to be so much better. All five players lined up outside of B. Double dualies on exertion. Double dualies. He's in cave. Is that four guns? That is four guns. One for most of them. Let's see if they work. Dexter. E250. Gonna get the reload in while he can. Exertion's hiding. 
up. He's not gonna get a single thing. Both guns missed equally, Jason. Floppy falls off of it. Dexter smoked it. This is gonna be a bomb plan immediately for complexity. So great start. T side won the pistol in the first half. I'll try and do the same as Frozen is gonna come around from the ledge and flank it out, but Floppy's ready for this. Knows there's gonna be a rotation. It doesn't even matter if he's ready or not. Yeah, now Grim's up. is going boom. Grim's actually boxed in in the corner. Frozen needs this kill. He needs it quick, but Grim's gonna get it. JT and Fang combined towards the bomb set of the retake itself, and it's all done, all over. Pissed around to complexity. Wow. It's now an eight to one run. Or seven to one, I should say. Because they don't have eight yet. Uh, they've they've gone one. through the Blue Lagoon and coming down the south side of the island, Jason. They're into the headwind now. Ooh, good. Trying, to, trying to finish this one here. Good to bring that multi partnership into play. Yeah, man. That's what I'm doing here. They didn't bring me in for the Counter-Strike. They brought me in for the plugs. The plugs. Malta plugs. Got to sit by the pool. Oh, get some sun today. Great. Let's I, look. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Tomorrow, maybe beach day. I think beach day. I think, I think bike over, rent some paddle boards. OK. Cruise around, maybe hit, hit one of the bigger beaches up. Sure. JDC is going to be boosted up, and they were not ready for that. Utility in hand. He's even going to double it up, poor old Fang. That's way too easy. Gets removed. Yeah, well, the problem is that this is the eco round that so often teams struggle with. And bomb down, Torzi, has got eyes on it. It's not like it's totally protected. Let's be real. That's very recoverable. But still, they've got great information. Man advantage, though, for Miles as well. Floppy's a bit of an X factor, pushing up in towards middle. JT and Halls are going to come and follow up his position. Dexter watching mid. Exertion over towards the B bomb site. Frozen and Torzi are going to hold on to A. Alzark and JT making their move. Floppy and Donut looking to cut off anyone making an information move. A floppy donut. Not their favorite kind of donut. To be fair, I just want to see Grim make a sick play in Donut because if anyone in chat knows what the Grim Donut is, they're going to love it just like me. Car thing? No, bike, bike, thing. bike thing. It's like the... I'll explain One of the two. it later. Yeah, <laughs> it's got to be, right? My my simple mind only has so many bits in it. Alzerk's got the shot back on exertion, and he's not done there. He'll go back out right side pillar, open up the site, and take down Frozen for a triple throw up. He finds Torzi. And just like that, it's nine to eight. Uh, basically, it was a meme they created. They went to mold makers in Asia, which a lot of bike companies, when they're starting up, do. And they basically said, right, if we look at the trends, everything's just gotten more slacker and longer. So we're just going to double that. And they made the most long, slack, ridiculously stupid bike ever. And it's a big meme across the bike culture. Okay. Pretty sick, actually, if you look it up. Cool. The Grim Donut. Yeah. They just named it the most trendy things they could. Yeah. Okay. Fun fact for you. Fun fact of the day. Ooh, peace out, JT. JDC gets that with the USP. Oh, a Deagle now. That could have been dangerous. If he hits one shot, one headshot on that one, he can follow up with another. Now the USPs, though, out of their element. Hallsark with a double kill in the back holes, and Grimm's going to add another one on top. We've got a tie game, baby. Bomb has been planted. Bang. Easy shot. JDC goes down. You're absolutely right. Did not think we would have a tie when it was 8 nothing. Respective 9-1 runs. Tie ball game. There's the smile. Look at that mullet. That's so glorious. It's not bad. Things look a little more relaxed on complexity now. The smile's probably gone from the mouse sports side. For the moment, guns are out. Here we go. Frozen pushing down mid. A lot of utility spent from the CT side. Torji's going to rotate with the op over towards the A bomb site. Bounce nade. Too many bounces, I think. JT heard that one coming too easily. Back the way. 50 HP would have done significant further damage to him in that situation. Through the box from exertion, he's just looking to do any damage at all. Both Grim and JT have received some from him. Yeah, they've done a decent job with chip damage. JT at 50, Grim at 60, Fang even at 84. Not the biggest deal in the world, but not too bad to soften a few players up before the execute comes in. Timing flash uh, yields nothing for exertion. Three players at the B bomb site for the moment. The bomb is still dropped deep in behind Fang on T side mid.
Making their move. Oh, Frozen. Frozen's in a good position. Narrow angle. He's got a teammate with him. Gonna smoke him off for some reason and gonna disappear behind it as well. Now, Halzerk is coming in the A bomb site to wrap behind him. Are they aware of the possibility? He's not exposed to Halzerk, but he will be soon. Halzerk immediately swinging both directions. Knows okay. that he even had his teammates on the other side of the smoke to capitalize. If he went down and through the smoke, they go. Complexity has the lead. I know if you've just tuned in, that may not seem surprising based on the dominance, but man, oh man, this was 8 nothing for Mouse. Yeah, this has been this has been a crazy little run from complexity. Now 10 to 1. Going back to the first half. Halzer just beast modes this. I can't believe he spins back to get the third as well. Dexter had no chance. Oh, the super sweet Halzer coming up with another spectacular play. Keep doing that. Well, we go back to action. JT mid already. Out past the elbow, he'll hold the corner. No Molotovs or anything really thrown that way because there isn't any on the CT side. What there was was already thrown toward the B ramp. Dexter tucks his way into the corner behind the stairs with the 5 7. Him and Halzerk see each other. Call a little stalemate. Looks like Exertion just wants to come in without the flashbang and go for the shot. Ooh, Halzerk. Didn't move the mouse, but Exertion almost just ducked into the shot. Team damage? Didn't catch if it was or not. I was trying to watch the minimap and see what, exactly what Frozen's up to, because he's rotating back out of A. They've pretty much gone all in on trying to get these pistols back over toward the B site. There is that one flashbang on Dexter as well. He's not really in a position to deploy it anywhere super useful. And he goes down without tossing it out into the into the world. Without seeing what it was going to get. Torji's the next one. They know he's at the default plant boxes. He's got nowhere to go. Pinched from two different directions. It's going to be an 11th round for Complexity who cannot be stopped. No, they can't. This is crazy. And again, just massively one-sided halves. Although this started, to be fair, on the defense for Complexity. It's now going to look like... An 11th round on an 11-1 run against Mouse Sports. And yeah, the reason I say these these sort of streaky, momentum, momentous sort of situations, you go back to overpass, it was the same thing. Nothing going on on the T sides. Both teams had good CT sides. And Complexity dropped that. They uh, suddenly have found a way back in. You said that they were almost getting a little more candid in the situation because they were almost out of it. And then somehow they, they clawed their way back in. A couple of rounds where it seemed like they were kind of getting out of their element and everyone was trying to kind of make a play to get them going. And eventually, I mean, once you get a couple of wins under your belt, that kind of settled settled down and they got back into just the fundamental stuff. Halzer quickly at a ramp and quickly rips off the head of Dexter. I was pretty concise. He ramp. Yeah, I still do that occasionally too, right? Because traditionally it's... Tor's going to wrap around Exertion inside of the cave this time. Also, another position that's been slightly changed. They shortened off this Jaguar, so there's no sort of uh, exhibit or monument. I like it. What, uh, yeah. You brought us to a zoo all of a sudden. Well, it was, there was like a little uh, roped-off section yeah, yeah. In there, you know? And you can't go as deep anymore in that cubby, which is why Exertion can't hide from JT. And in they go. This is great. I mean, remember on Overpass, the CT side of Mal's, like what they were doing to punish with Complexity was getting aggressive and getting in their face and actually just disrupting everything Complexity wanted to do. But uh, here, they're not able to pull it off quite in the same way. Complexity's winning everything. Floppy moving up into cave. All three defenders are here. Complexity don't know that just yet. But they are moving into A. Now they're going to have the information because it's going to be clear. Looking towards Donut, seeing absolutely nothing. Grim's going to go clear it out. JT falls, but it doesn't matter. You see. Another kill. Three on three. Are they actually? Okay. They've got a kit in play right now with JDC. If they can get a pick fast enough, maybe. But that's a tough order because look at Halzerk's positioning right now. Torzi's going to try and go against it with the op. No, okay. I think that's too far gone. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Just make us nervous, man. I just threw you for away. a loop there. You were about was... to build up into it. Well, I was, and then I was like, this is probably not a good idea. And then I'm like, crazy. okay, they're backing off. No, wait, they're not. Oh, God, Jason, help me. Well, they did back off. 12 to 9. Three-round lead for complexity. I don't even I don't even know what to say about how, how crazy this reversal is. Look at the money on complexity as well. Like, Mouse does not have anything easy coming their way anytime soon. 
three players sitting right around like eleven to thirteen thousand on the complexity side before they buy up into round twenty two. TC, pretty happy with it. Gives Grim a little fist bump. Oh, I see the ref. Is the ref still smiling? I don't know, man. <laughs> Not sure. Everyone was smiling on the mouse sports. Everyone's so yeah, happy. Well, with that. Yeah. Who's laughing now? There were some good vibes going on. Not sure I can say the same anymore as Frozen fires into the smoke. Hang on, Dorsey gets all Zerk, so opening pick to Mouse. Deep inside of the eight tunnels, and knowing that that's the op, he's gonna try and watch that position, but Grim's got it. So Grim actually, Grim's been going for that secondary. Ooh, if he had held the line a little longer, they may have been able to get JT. This is a crafty little boost, though, to get that off angle. He doesn't net them anything. Torji's actually gonna rotate away with the op as well. JT and Grim are here. Fang is backing them up, just making sure there's no mid pushes. This feels like they want to hit this bomb site and leave Floppy in alert position over towards B. It's going to be a tough defense to break through. JDC at the default boxes, spamming into the smoke. He got frozen over in the entrance to Donut as well. Grim just really wants one shot, one headshot over those boxes. Not going to get it. JDC. Patience. Oh, okay, okay. His teammate threw the smoke. I th thought he put the smoke away, not realizing the Molotov was coming and was going to get caught in transition and in weapon. And, you know, all that. binds all that stuff, but he, uh, he got a call from his teammate that he had him covered off. JDC, Mouse inside is, Donut. Mouse has got to be so confused about what this hit is exactly. <laughs> like, there's been so much presence, but like it took so long for Complexity to actually pull the trigger and attack it. It's it's working wonderfully until Frozen steps up. Double kill for him. Fang still holds onto the site. And I almost think that was intended to be a body block on the shot toward the planter, but it didn't work out. As you Please. see, Frozen, Frozen got both. Ooh, they're going to catch him. That's a huge shot from Torzi. They tried to run it over to B. 15 seconds. They would have had to go immediately. Floppy still has bomb. He could still make this. 11 seconds, boom. He's in the sight. That blue line, yeah, plant that sucker behind the pillar. He knows that he's going to be chased. And Torzi is now going to be painfully aware of the situation. And Floppy's going to try him. Uh, does he go all the way? I think you just sit in this lane. Don't move. Yeah, exactly this. Because now he either has to go all the way around, clear every single angle and run into you, or you go directly to the site and he has the reverse angle on him. I think Floppy has put himself in a perfect position knowing the situation. He does go aggressive, though. He didn't need to. torsi has got the kill. And now Mouse Sports find 10. Yeah, Floppy looking for the timing there. Torzi just looking in that proper direction right before Floppy peeks, but Floppy wanted to know if he was going to be coming from a different angle than Floppy was aware of. What an important round for Mouse to win. Finally stops the momentum. Finally, finally slowing down complexity. This was the all-important shot. If they both get away, I don't even know if it's possible to win that round. Torji's been quiet in this game, but that one-on-one -on -one clutch, you can see it in Frozen's face and everyone's face, everyone's fist bumps. JDC, that's... The others were all actual, full-on emotional fist bumps. JDC just looked like relief. Yeah, I said, thank God. Oh, yeah, please. And it's been a minute since I felt this feeling. Still a two-round lead for Complexity. Good spam. Way more than chip damage on a Grim in this round. He's down to three HP. Deep Molotov behind the smoke. I don't think it made it. It's extinguished immediately. JT has got a no exertion in the corner, but no, he doesn't. Grim doesn't have the HP, but it doesn't matter if you hit him straight in the forehead. Yeah, that's certainly one way to get it done. Torzi's going to get a little more forward in the site using that pillar to try and get an angle toward the B ramp. JDC, way down at A long. Doesn't go any further than that. But flank rotation possible for him. Slow things down at 55 seconds, and Grim on 3 HP is going to back off with Floppy. A single nade, anything really would take him down so quickly. I wonder, I mean, with how much we've seen Grim happy to take the AWP, I wonder if they're going to swap weapons here and let Grim just chuck out some utility and use the AWP in support. There's no damage dealing utility on the CT side is the problem. You have a lot of defensive utility and smokes and flashes, but nothing else. Torzi's missed the first shot, he's flashed off. He'll switch with Dexter, goes out. Grim's the one he found, unfortunately, because that was the three HP player. He could have put more of his efforts toward a high HP and caught him with a stray, potentially, but it's not gonna go that way. Torzi, still inside that cave, has to concede the bomb plant. And Fang's going for a long, long flank. This could be perfectly timed with these smokes that have been deployed, but they're just about to fade, and now Fang, oh, he picks up the pace. 
And he's going now. He got a call from his teammate as well, because just before that smoke plumed, he was already looking down the lane. He saw one of the stairs. Fangs out. Easy shot on Torzy. Now they know they're in trouble. JDC's going to hold this. No way. Holzer tries to go against it. Fangs held off too, and they're too far away. Diffuse comes through. That is a brave, ballsy move to get that one done. Also, maybe a, uh, perhaps a mismanaged post plan. Too many players not in a position. Wake. Yeah. We'll see how long Malz can keep it up for. Deep incendiary by the CTs. JT's already passed that, so he'll he'll hold station, but this is going to allow them to push. Good counter Molotov. A lot of utility used early. Flash. Oh, Dexter's lost. Dexter's lost. He gets back, but they know he was close. Hey, Dexter again blinded. Good trade. Exertion had to hit that trade. They were very committed to that push. They went for it a second time. Torzy didn't hit that one, Jason. They're not all easy. I can't believe how aggressive he's being just right after that, just right after the peak and the shot and the miss. He just goes right back for the peak. Moving up as well. Grim's looking for it. Grim's waiting for it and over the top of the box. I don't think Torzy realized. Grim takes a vertical angle and takes his head clean off before he even knows the angle is possible. Four on two. And in this kind of a scenario, at this point in the game, it's a must-win round for complexity. Bang inside of A, clearing. I don't think he saw it. He's making a lot of noise. I don't think he saw that JDC's already here, and JDC waits patiently to catch that kill. They're coming. They're coming towards A. That's where, This is where both defenders are. Frozen's going to be here quickly, too. JDC, oh, he can stop everything, just gets the one. But Frozen's been great so far in this series. Put JT down to 21 HP, though. So very good chance. Oh, absolutely a chance. Frozen can go for this kill, and he's got both following up on the damage, and he's done the job to make it 12-12. Oh, no. I, Mouse was just gambling over towards A and just saying, we'll save if they don't come here. Come Complexity did exactly what they wanted. They danced to Mouse's tune. And they're going to call a timeout, Mouse, and talk things over. What a. 24 for Frozen. Torzy and Dexter are only at 7 and 9. They're lagging behind considerably. And Torzy, the reason I bring that up, we just mentioned he has the AWP this round. I mean, you look at Holzer at 19. He really needs to start getting some kills on there for Mouse. The first half, we said he didn't need to do much. Okay, that's fine, but. When things are getting tight like this, yeah, you probably want to get some contribution with that gun, especially considering he did win the battle this time, or last time, I should say, against Holzerk at B. Oh, what a timing for that smoke. What a timing for it. Holzerk was feeling frisky. He wanted to play. This is the one awkward spot I found in the map, is just getting toward that B ramp and not having a lot of map controller information yet, you, you feel kind of stuck. They're going to bring the team back that direction and give it a bit more support, a bit more force to try and penetrate through to the B site if they go. Complexity have been buying through the losing bonus building up. If they want to continue fighting in the next round, they need a plant here. They're out of money. Perfectly timed smoke from Mouse at the entrance or exit to cave. And Complexity might have to go through it, and indeed they will. Dexter. Oh, I don't think he was ready for them to come that quickly through. Cave certainly was. Turns it back. He tours the exertion. They all find kills, but Grim sets up for two. Oh my god, <laughs> Holzer, thank you. Thank you very much. Because that Molotov would have had him killed. But he gets the bomb instead. He goes back for the plant. And Holzerk's going to go even further to keep his teammate alive. JDC is going to bring it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Holzerk, man. This AWP, it's menacing. And JDC knows it's there. He's trying to bait it out. Pre-fires even. Into the angle, but Holzerk beats him back to the pillar. What a round from Holzerk. The support op at the ramp. Just covering everybody. Saves Grimm's life initially. And picks off everyone as they try and make it into the defuse. This is a scrappy round. Trying to flash themselves through a pathway of smoke. Dexter and Exertion are the ones to come out on the top end of that exchange. But Holzerk's op is just on point. He even toys with JDC here. He even reads everything. Sees just a little bit of presence from JDC. Knows where he's going next and takes the aggressive peak. Good win from Holzerk. Three kills at the end of the day. And keeps complexity in the lead. 13-12. It's Mouse who run out of funds first. Pistols and a stack towards the A bomb site. They're going to start pushing, too. So Fang's blind, and he's going to call that out. If he sees any numbers, I think they're just going to pick up the hustle and get into B. But for the moment, they're waiting. Waiting for Fang's call. Is there vision? I think Fang...
Fang needs to, yeah, okay, he's gonna step up now that JT's got the bit of pincer and Fang's absolutely got them. I thought you actually could see the backside of that uh, sort of banana split. Can we call it that? It's kind of got a split around that pillar. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's already can, a donut on the map, so we can call we'll, it that. we'll call it the banana split. The, this is a dessert map, I guess. Yeah, I'm so down with that. You wanna get some dessert after this? Nah. Why not? Nah. All right, work on your figure. It's fine. We're at a yeah. beach, beach I, mean, I get it. You, you don't look. get this kind of a body by eating desserts, Matt. Yeah, you got to look, you know, good because, you know, you're not in a relationship or anything. And <laughs> press and all that. Also <laughs> up toward the stairs. Blinded up. Down he goes. Dexter with the kill. So complexity of a two-round lead, but a one-man deficit to start this one off. Mal's not going to go easy if they go at all. Dexter inside the site looking for an alternate angle, even going for the cubby spam. Floppy, gonna lead the way. Just a dry challenge against Dexter, no utility. Dexter wasn't ready for it. Floppy's found entrance into the bomb site, very low. Good trade from JT though. They go forward and challenge. Grim's gonna plant the bomb. JT's got safety in cave. Now, they lost a round like this before, remember, when players were out of position to defend against the defuse. However, there's no kid on the mouse side. Inferno, the third map, if needed, and this round might determine it right now because Fang is on the lurk again, trying to go for that flank. Grim playing the box. He's going to hold this with a doubled position. JT will play off this. So if Grim goes down, which he's not yet, absolutely not yet, he would easily be traded off, and it's 15 12. Fang found the last. Yeah, really well done from complexity there. That's huge. That's a massive victory. You can see what it means. Halzerk is shouting his little head off. Three chances to close out the map. And this first one would be the easiest because Mouse's money is not pretty. Famas picked up on Frozen. MP9 on Insertion. Actually, I mean, three Famas, a Deagle, and an MP9. Let's see what Mouse can do. Let's see what they can come up with. Complexity have just sustained enough at the end of the day. What a phenomenal offensive half of Ancient this has been. All Zerk. For more as well. 23 kills on Halzerk. 24 on JT with that frag. 24 on Halzerk. The Holland hauler as he gets through the flash that time and spots down toward lane. He's not done there. He's going to go back out for another one. Still looking and waiting, and it's so close to the end. Mao's went 8 nothing up. I have to remind you, they've only got four rounds in the time the complexity found 15. Yeah, 15 to four run. You're exactly right. Mao's making the best call you can at the moment. Frozen just watching mid. Torji and JDC with FAMAS, both at the B bomb site, where all the presence has been shown from complexity. They don't care about the A bomb site. Frozen, I think, is even, you might as well at this point just gamble over towards this side of the map. Torji and JDC sprayed on two. Good rebuttal from Floppy. An amazing rebuttal from Floppy. And it's a 1v3. Complexity, this is going to be the best chance likely that they have to close out the map. A 3v1. And Frozen's going to go back through middle. Doesn't want a chance even trying to come in from the predictable back lanes of the B bomb site. Smoke's still gonna go down. Take no chances right now if you are complexity. And the timing might work out for Frozen to get himself into position. Okay, I take that back. Floppy's already turned back around, looking through the cave. He's got the shot, and Floppy 